to Kenya and I was gonna do house tour. Yeah, mate. But no, I didn't. I didn't do house tour. I will do it eventually, just not today. So I didn't put any soup in my food because no soup. And in this place we have that ready made charcoal. So you just warm it. So that's what I'm gonna warm. I got it from the supermarket and it saves time. Um, what did I want to say? This job of ours, there was a time that you never know who might puke on you. You never know who might come with a, an illness that they got from no, wherever. Yes, we, we get, um, we are, um, we get vaccinated from various diseases, but still, there are just some some illnesses that, that just creep, you know? People are sick all over the place. So I always have flu. As I am warming this, let me just talk to you guys. I always have flu here and there. There was a time I came back from Sri Lanka and this Caucasian lady got sick in Sri Lanka from her holiday. And she was just sitting in her seat. Meanwhile, she had a running stomach. So this lady stood from her seat and fell down. And when she fell down, she sold herself. So when I was passing there, I just felt a couple of things are smelling weird but this lady had had uh, had diarrhea on herself in the cabin obviously so she got sick with whatever virus apparently it was food poison so this is uh, how chapati look like you guys it was food poison so that's my food for tonight. I'm just making two chapatis. It was food poison. And this lady had not carried any spare clothes. Luckily, I always carry spare clothes with me on board. So when she fell down and she started diarrhearing all over the place and whatever, who is, who is supposed to be taking care of doing first aid on her? Of course, it's us. With all these viruses and whatever she got, I don't know what it is. Anyway, thankfully her husband was like with her, traveling with her. So her husband do, did most of cleaning, you know, cleaning her. But when I went to the toilet, you have no idea what I found. And obviously she used the toilet sink to clean her mess. And things had, you guys, it's gross. Things had uh, blocked the sink. We had few, few toilets that you cannot block it. People are full, flights are full. People want to use those same toilet. I just went to the seat and called the husband and said, you know what? You have to come and take care of the, the stuff, the dirtiness that you left in the, in the, in the toilet. Oh, God, I'm so ill. I keep taking medication. I am on medication all the time, you guys. But anyway, this lady got sick. And I had to I had to share, give her. I have to give her. It's very yummy. Oh. I had to give her my dress because she had no dress. And guess what? Guess what, my people? Uh oh, sorry guys. Sorry. 
guess what my people what happened because i usually carry extra underwear just in case i also have accident with my lady days whatever you know with the pressure you get accidents here and there so i i gave her my sanitizer i gave i shared <laughs> she was so desperate you guys she had no choice I gave her my underwear. So she took she wore my dress and she wore my underwear. Yes, she did. Cuz she was that desperate. She had nothing to wear. I became a savior. that whatever she got I didn't catch it because because when I went to the toilet you know I didn't use the mask when I was trying to clean the leftover mess the husband did clean it obviously but even me I had to do some some touch up cleaning before other people use the toilet and I was just praying so hard that I don't get sick from this mess. Anyway, that's the nature of my job, you guys. So we are vaccinated against hepatitis A, B, all kinds of hepatitis, meningitis, measles, flu, which I'm supposed to take, but I didn't take my flu shot. My dinner is so, so yummy. So something else I wanted to talk to you guys is about running a business. Actually, hold on. I need to go to the table, but dining table, sit down, enjoy my meal while talking to you guys. I'll see you later. I'm back, you guys. I'm back. Sorry for that shake. So if you're wondering exactly what I did, what I put on my meal, let me see what lightings these are. I'm using a tripod. No, what is it called? A ring light and I'm trying to find a natural, more natural light. If you're wondering the ingredients that I have used to put on my food, I've just put onions, you know, uh, onions and curry powder. I used olive oil to fry the onions a little bit. Then I put some tomatoes in it, some curry powder, and I like to, to use beef stock powder to put on my food because at least it tastes good. I don't like food that tastes bland. And some salt. So what I was saying was that I also have my tea here and sorry you guys if I look I'm low energy in this video is because I have not been feeling well I came back from work yesterday I come back I came back from one yeah. we had the most amazing trip to Phuket I did not vlog it because sometimes you know we land in the evening it was already dark you cannot take good shots and then the next day we had to leave by mid by around mid midday, so we just all went for dinner, and we had such an amazing time. We went for dinner and then we spoke. Then we talked the entire night with them. Um, sometimes if you have a bunch of amazing people that you you can have conversation with. I usually obviously go out and have fun with my fellow people and then after that we went to the beach it was night it was really dark but we went to the beach we were just not running in the with the currents and you know having fun and laughing and sleeping in the hammock with the breeze you know just talking it was pitch dark outside but it was it was such fun and then 
we decided that we didn't want to sleep we didn't want to go to sleep so we had we were two girls and four men so we went to sit uh, in a certain uh, hammock and we just uh, ordered uh, the captain ordered offered to buy us wine so we just ordered a couple of bottles of wine and we were just drinking away while talking so we 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 chatted the entire night you know just having our own natural as in phone lights phone torch and listening to music by the beach and having our wine and it was not it was not a, you guys one minute Uh, yeah yeah so yeah so we had so much fun i didn't vlog it unfortunately sorry for people who don't like people eating on the camera just click out and by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel just a heads up please do so my test pass is messed up because I have flu. So even though I'm eating this food, it doesn't look like I'm enjoying it, but yeah, it's a nice food. What else I wanted to talk about? Running a business while you are away. Guys, I don't want to complain, but I feel like complaining. It's just like sometimes I feel so helpless when I'm here and my things are there nobody proper and sometimes I also feel very jealous of people who have family members who are very who are very on top of things when it comes to taking care of your things when you're away if you have such people please cherish them because me my things it is just me who is running them my sister stay close to my property but don't dare ask her to run it for you she can't even she can't my elder sister that's it my younger sister is in Dubai if you're watching, I know she watches my video. Hello. Hello, young sister. <laughs> By the way, someone was asking me if she got a job. Yes, she did. Job situations in Dubai right now, it's not really easy to find a job at the moment. But my sister is very persistent. And plus, she did. She have a, a diploma in hotel management and a lot of companies here are hotels and sometimes they are hiring so she became a hotelier so she's good with these interviews she's gone for to multiple interviews and she's just like impatient that's why i told her don't worry about your visa expiring while you didn't get a job yet don't worry take your time find a job because there's a lot of companies here but they underpay but anyway she finally end up getting us the first job she got she signed a contract very quickly she's very naive she's new to Dubai she didn't know what she was signing for that company was deducting her employment visa fee from her salary. They were giving her that salary minus accommodation. So her money, it's just a mess, man. It's a mess. Anyway, that job, that company ended up freezing and ended up sending their people away. So anyway, she ended up finding another job now. She just started a couple of days ago.
Needless to say, when you're running a business and these people know that you have an international telephone number, meaning that you're away, you're not in Kenya. These people want to bank from you. They want to eat your money. They don't care. The people who, you guys, I know that I'm always dishing advices on my channel, but I'm the worst when it comes to taking my own advices because even me, I get conned. Even after being conned again and again and again, I still end up getting conned. What happened was the first contractor who was building my rentals, I gave my sister the job to monitor. And they ended up fighting with my sister because my sister found out that she was trying to steal from my, my, me. Then me and my silly ass went back to Kenya and forgot that this man called me and hired him again. I'm telling you, if you are clever, you can save up to double the price of building these places. You can save because these people, if you're not clever, these people will end up, your house is in process and their house is also in process on the other hand. And, and also dealing with tenants, it's another story. These people don't really understand that how much pain and sweat you have used to build these houses. Once they are in your promises, premises, they want you to they want you to beg for your money. And you know, I'm so nice. I don't want to put an agent who is going to harass them. But at the end of the day, I'm getting harassed by these people because they explain to me exactly why someone will be paying rent and not depositing not full amount. They are depositing and leaving other money aside without communicating or without even telling you, listen, I have deposited this, type, this kind of money but give me until a couple of days or this day, I will deposit the remaining amount. They deposit and then they keep quiet. They ask them. They talk to you like, like it's, it's, it's their, like they talk to you like, uh, like, like you are stupid or something. And in most cases, I cannot be harassed in my own property that I have built in my, with my own cash, with my own sweat, you know? And it just gets me mad because one of these, there is a person that just got me pissed off, you know? And I just told them, you know what? Because you know, sometimes they just be telling you, oh, I will leave. Give me my, ten, my money, I will leave. I, and if you, the minute you are giving, you telling them, listen, I'm ready to give you your money because sometimes you want your house empty for a peace of mind. You don't want people to harass you. We would rather the house remain empty without any tenant and you have a peace of mind you're sleeping at the end of the day. And this person just got pissed off. I was in the property because I was, I remember that yes, I wanted to to extend the property and I do understand that it was, I was wrong for not informing them in advance but that is the reason why I went there so that I can meet them in person apologize for each one of them which I did but this particular person I don't know what he has against me 
Every time I went there to talk to him, he was just avoiding me. I'm not in Kenya that you would say that, oh, maybe I'm a cruel landlord or whatnot. I'm not there. When do I have time to be cruel? This person, I talked to everyone, this person avoided me. Only to let me leave. Fly back here for him to start complaining and writing me threatening messages. Saying you, you will know just because I asked him. Just because I asked him to pay rent because the rent is due. Usually in Kenya, most people give until fifth. Most Kenya, I give them up to eighth. But it's not enough, apparently, which is very understandable. But if you're not capable, just communicate. Communicate. Communication. Tell me, listen, I won't be able to pay on time. I know you have a set time for everyone to pay, but this time I will not be able to pay on time. But no, this person tried, tried to threaten me and harass me on the phone. Even mentioning police and say that I will know who, who they are. Because I told them, and listen you guys, I had contractors in the compound. She said, he said to me that you had the audacity of bringing contractors in, in the compound. The contractor slept with my, my housemaid in my house in front of my son or my daughter or my child. I say, is it my responsibility now? Two consenting adults chose to have sex. Is it now my responsibility that this happened? So anyway, it was being blamed on me. So he was, this person knows that it's not a male figure who's the owner of this place. It's a female. And maybe he seems to see that I'm weak and helpless because I'm far away from Kenya. So there's no way I will take action if in case there were any actions to be taken against him. He threatened me. And I said to them, you know what? I do not want to deal with you. Please leave my premises empty. I'd rather it's empty. How many times am I telling you I'd rather be empty? Then he says, I'm not leaving until you give me my deposit money. And you guys, whatever it is that this person is being yelling and being disrespectful for, it's me asking for my money. I'm asking for rent money. So they'd rather I get a, an, a cruel agent to deal with them rather than me dealing with them with my humble self. So yes, I know so many of you will be telling me, look for an agent and you know, the agent will deal with it. La, la. It's because you feel sorry for people. I don't care. Even someone can pay rent late. But just communicate regarding it. Communicate to me. When you call, the phone is not being picked. When you text, they are not answering texts. Yet they are paying money bits by bits without communicating. When you ask, when are you paying the remaining? When I get it? There is no ethics in Kenya, you guys. And it gets me so mad because here in the, or here in the outside world, people don't deal like this. But in Kenya, this is the dealing. Very normal. 
and we don't pay rent one year in advance we pay rent monthly monthly basis but the funny thing is i know that my houses are very on high demand this is what gets me annoyed my houses are on high demand because one the area and second the price and two the finishing of that house they are very much on demand i know that this, even now people are asking is there empty every time people are going there asking for even the upper units are not yet done but there's somebody who was asking i will pay you so that you can finish this upper unit so that i can just move in i'll pay you the money to finish it this is how much houses are on demand yet someone is living in your house and causing you trouble so i told this guy give me take one month notice i'm giving you one month notice to move out then the, the wife comes, so I forwarded the wife all the threatening messages that this guy sent me. And then the wife was like, you know what? Don't mind him. He's going through stress and yada yada and yada yada. And he didn't mean whatever. So the wife is apologizing on his behalf. And the wife is like, I told the wife, listen, I do not want to deal with anyone who's being disrespectful just leave my premises i will i will i will be left it empty then the wife is like oh no i'm the one who rented this house i'm the one who has my the leash is on my name so if i have to move it's me it's me who have the decision to move and i did not decide to move if my husband decided to move that's on him but i'm not moving so conflict as in they don't decide so then i because she talked to me nicely i said okay stay but then i will just be dealing with you not your her your husband because i cannot stand anybody harassing me not even my own father if he was still alive he will not harass me for where why is he nobody harasses me i'm not your wife I'm not your, your, your mother. I'm not no, I, I'm nobody to you. Why are you harassing me? I'm just a landlord who is asking for the, her own money. Why are you harassing me? For what reason are you harassing me? Because I'm a woman? Huh? Is it because I'm a woman that you're harassing me? So when you are a woman and you are running your own business by yourself, Forget the contractors. Another story. The minute they know that you are not in Kenya, the minute they know that you are not in Kenya, these people will deal with you accordingly, money-wise. Will I'm telling you they will deal with you accordingly. These people are like from nowhere. The septic was just emptied two days, like a week ago. From nowhere, they just call you and say, oh, well, the septic is full. Send money for the septic to be emptied. I'm like, the septic gets emptied after every four months. How is it full within a week? No, just send money. The septic is full. When you ask deeply, as in when you investigate, the septic was not even full. And then also you tell them, can you do plumbing properly and redirect, uh, you know, the pipes so that you know like just make some pipes to go inside the sock pit while some goes into the the manhole as in the sock pit and some goes into the septic tank because for what reason is the bathroom sink and other you know the wash whatever why is it the water going inside the septic to fill it faster while you can make a different sock pit so that this water can be diverted so that the septic cannot get filled so then I'm telling this person, can you do a proper job because you are the one who built this house to start with and there is a problem with drainage. You have to try and fix this because these people, actually one of my tenants are the most patient and I thank God for my, one of my tenants. Amazing, amazing people. I'm really grateful for them. I'm even thinking to give them a discount just because of how good they are. And I'm just going to tell them, you know what? December, don't pay me rent. Just stay for the purpose of, of, of you being nice and being so nice. You have one month rent free. Just on me. 
I would say that. Actually, I will say to them that about the day December, I don't I want them to pay me in January. Just for the sake of how nice they are. They are so nice, you know. Because they have gone through so many hurdles as in there are just a lot of things uh, because when it comes to plumbing and you know with the rain and everything a lot of things had happened to them in a sense of they are living in ground floor the house uh, behind them in behind them that how the the compound is unbuilt so it's bushy so then the snakes are getting into the house they have children and you know and they they didn't think to move they didn't even say to me you know what i'm moving just don't uh, don't uh, I don't want to live here. No, they were very patient. In fact, they're even waiting for me to finish the upper unit so that they can move. They are just, and they are very prompt. They are very prompt with their payment, rent payment. So for me, I think somebody, if someone is being diligent and being understanding, they deserve to be rewarded for being so nice, you know. So I think I'm going to reward them for this because anyway, a long story short, things are now fixed. And now they are okay. But to start with, because when they were getting into the house, I told them, listen, the building project is not completed. Just know that there's going to be disturbances here and there. If you still want the house, you can get in, but just know that. And they were like, we like the house, we'll get in immediately. It's okay. It's okay, you can finish while we are still in. So anyway, they've been patient with me enough. And I can take a month off for them so that at least they can enjoy, take that money to enjoy with their family. There's nothing. You can always give. The giving spirit, this is Christmas. So I think I'm going to do that for them. So anyway, you guys, it's difficult. I wish I could I had time to continue talking in this video regarding the things that I've gone through with being a home, being a landlord or even being a business owner while, while away. And being the only one who is running that place alone, it's, I have stories and stories and stories and stories and stories. But the video will take forever. And some of you will complain, why is your video so long? Well, there's a skip button. You can always skip to watch later. Or you can fast forward. So, anyway, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Have a lovely day. Bye. Oh, can I get Koyago? Mamma, do you know what you're going to do? Yeah, I'm going to get Koyago. We are going to get Koyago. We are going to get Koyago.